Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And I want to share with you my meditation while it's still fresh in my mind. Uh, this morning in that place between awake and asleep, uh, I knew that I had that connection to spirit. And I was asking spirit, what do I do? Uh, sometimes I feel, even though I've created Asha here in my own life, uh, how do we spread it? throughout the planet? How, how do we make it where uh, evil men don't rule the world so that the evil spirit is removed? No more hate, no more prejudice, no more fighting, no more wars. How do we bring Asha to the earth? And, and we've been studying a lot lately the, the Gothas of Zarathustra. And I noticed that was a theme uh, in, in his speech. And, and here in the Avesta, let me read this to you. It says, if thou wishest, Zarathustra, to destroy the malice of the wicked men, of the tyrants, of the biped serpents, which are men having the nature of a serpent on two legs. Don't we hear about that all the time right now? It's, it's the serpents uh, in, in form. Uh, it talks about the wolves. It talks about how do we stop the cruel weapons uh, of the armies. And my friends... Ahura Mazda gives us the answer in this uh, scripture. And then let me read out of the Gothas real quick. Just so you see the heart of Zarathustra. And you'll see it, it's, it's our heart also. And Zarathustra found the answer. And, and my friends, the answer is there for us. Uh, the information is already here. The wisdom is already here. The knowledge is already here. You just have to receive it. I know you hear this all the time and it can drive you crazy uh, that you're omniscient, that you're omnipotent, but you sure don't feel that way. And that's why we're always begging uh, to a deity, come help us, come save us. But everything we need is already there. We just have to draw on it. And as you start to study uh, metaphysics, you'll realize all the information is out there. There's evil spirit information. There's good spirit information. But it's a two-way street that we've talked about. And you have to connect with the energy that you want to connect with. And my, you can connect uh, with the good mind, Vohumenu, or you can... Uh, connect to the corrupt mind of fear and greed and hate and violence and you think well why would anybody want to do that stay with me let me build this real quick please i promise you're gonna love it. we're gonna talk about the central sun and my friends all the answers you've ever had are in the central sun so we're gonna get back to that so why though would anybody choose the wrong mind it's because you've been deceived uh in our school system, they give you answers with no understanding. And I saw this so clearly with my son in school. Uh, he's very intelligent, uh, but he was struggling in school. And so I sat down with the teacher and I, I said, you need to show him uh, what you're talking about, what, what's behind what you're talking about, because I know him. He's like me. Uh, tell him uh, down to the foundation and then tell him how it's going to benefit him. And, and the teacher said, we don't do that. And he almost like had a wink in his eye, like I knew what he was talking about. Uh, uh, and at first I, I started thinking of conspiracy, you know, but no, he didn't even know. No. And, and uh, let me share this story real quick. It's funny. My mom brings it up all the time because she was so proud of me. Uh, in kindergarten, uh, I was so excited to go because I was going to learn about everything. I was thinking colors and numbers and things. And the teacher, the very first day, she started teaching us colors. And I wanted to know, well, why is that a color? You're saying that's blue, but, but fine. But tell me, why is it blue? Who first called it blue, what makes it blue, and my friend, she didn't know, uh, you know, and it's created that way so that we're just cogs in the wheel, and it, we're almost like in a caveman mentality. Uh, they call it blue just so the whole community knows what you're talking about. It's very caveman. It's like, uh, or two us, uh, uh, is blue, but you have no understanding why uh, is it blue. It's, it's because the light is coming through your lenses, and it's going into the chemical and the connectors of your brain, but they don't know any of it. They don't know the history. Who first called it blue? What does the word blue mean? They have no understanding. They just repeat, and, and then they get things like doctorates. My God, I've talked to some of the stupid people that 
call themselves doctors, they're ignorant because they have no thinking brain. Uh, they just give you these answers that they were taught. And my friends, you can't even have an intelligent conversation with them. And these people are ruling the world. I saw another, I will get back to the central sun. Please stay with me. This is so important, but I, I, I have to cover these things. I watched a documentary uh, on when they were building uh, the nuclear bomb and, and the scientists, they couldn't have them there just doing the mundane uh, operations like turning the valves and watching the pressure go up and when it reaches this level then they switch over to this. So they brought in just average housewives and paid them a very minimal fee, didn't tell them any of the science or what was going on or even, they didn't even know they were working on radiation and things, uh, but they just told them, okay, when this lever reaches here, you switch that and, and my friends they had their hand and when you see those pictures uh, in National Geographic and the little oriental girl with her skin melting off crying because they dropped a nuclear bomb on their country uh, those women had a, a role in that and didn't even know it because it's, it's good for slaves to uh, not really have an understanding of everything that's going on just do your job just uh 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 just you know it, my friends we need to wake up and that's what spirit showed me this morning in my meditation I was in that place between awake and asleep in spirit and I knew it and I said this is the time to start asking questions and I said, Spirit, what do we do? How do we create Asha on earth? And he showed me, one, you need to get uh, knowledge uh, intimate with seven, okay? And then he showed me a white horse lying down. And, and instantly I thought of Tistra, the star Sirius, which is a, a, a focus point of the central sun, the god star, if you will. I know a lot of people call it the dog star. I've heard that, but my friends, it's so much more than that. It, we talked about it before. It's the reason the Order of the Magi exists. The, the, the Orion's Belt, the Three Magi, pointing at Sirius. It's it's the Virgin and it's the Christ. Uh, you know, it, it's Zarathustra coming out of the 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 Virgin Water. Uh, and so I won't get. You already know all this. Uh, okay, so let me read to you uh, about the number seven and, and talk about Tistra. Talk about the Central Sun and what do we do to bring Asha to the planet. It's great. We brought it to our lives. It's nice, isn't it? My God, I walked out this morning. I live in heaven. The pine, I could just smell it. It was so beautiful. It just rained the other day, fresh. And my deer that comes every year, it's the fourth year, she brought her baby right up to my fence right here. And I just walked out and talked to him and loved him. And it's so beautiful. Asha, living in health and peace and joy. But our job as light workers is to bring this to the earth to keep raising the evolutions. Okay, my friends, stay with me here. Okay, the prophet Zarathustra speaking here. He asked the creator, Ahura Mazda, O oh, most beneficent spirit, righteous creator, Ahura Mazda, which part of the holy spell is most courageous, victorious, and glorious, health-giving, uh, removing of the divas, the wicked men, the druze and the lie, uh, the holy spell that is most reaching, helping the mind, purifying the soul. And then the creator replies, it's the names of us. You've, you've heard this before, uh, but it it's more than saying a name. It's the understanding of the name. It's the authority of the name. It's the vibration of the name. It says, Ahura Mazda then implied, my first name is I exist. My second name is protector. My third name is all pervading. My fourth name, supreme righteousness. We're getting to seven. Remember seven. My fifth name is all good things. We know that Ahura Mazda is all good creator. Uh, containing the seed of Asha. My sixth name is that of myself. And my seventh name is wisdom. My God, that's it right there. It's wisdom. It's it's understanding, my friends. So many people have no understanding. Like I've, ta I've talked to those people that call themselves doctors of religion or theology, and, and they can't answer one question I give them, but why do they believe that? How can they reason that out? How do they justify that? How do they make sense of that? And they can't. They have no understanding. They just repeat, uh, 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 
caveman talk, and, and do you know what? They reward them, don't they? Okay, you're a doctor, and that puffs up their pride, and, and they'll pay them a little more money now to share that with other people, and it keeps people in bondage, and they're, they're not getting that light of that central sun. It says that every day we need to recite these names, and it says to do it day and night continuously, and how do we do that? We don't pray all the time. We're not begging the Creator all the time. We're holding those vibrations. I am protected. I am divine health. I am divine life. I am one with good spirit, Ahura Mazda. I am powerful. I am free. And my friends, I, when you hold these vibrations, you become these vibrations. You create these vibrations. And by cosmic law, it changes things. When you start trying these things, it happens. When you start believing you can hear from God, stop begging to hear from God. Stop trying. But you know it. You know, do you know what? I am a part of God. And just like my meditation this morning, I knew I could connect. I knew I could see spirit. I knew I could hear from spirit. I know I could interact with spirit. And my friends, you find out you can because what you believe is it's faith. And when they try to keep you locked down in, in, in the dark system ideas of what's possible, they put boundaries on you. It's time to break free of those chains. That central sun, my friends, it's the consciousness of God. It's that divine light. And the beautiful thing about it, I know you guys are getting that it's outside of you and it's inside of you. You are in it, and it is in you. It's what is, my friends. You don't have to reach outside for it. We have examples. Sirius, the central sun that we talk about uh, in Zoroastrianism, that is a focus point of it, and, and it, it is energy, and we can draw from that energy, and that energy, it cleanses. Remember what we went through through this last month. It's a cleansing. It's such a pure, holy light. You, you get in it, and it reveals all of your flaws, all of your anger, all of your lust, all of your fears, and it's almost like overwhelming. But you can run and hide, get in a shady spot, and pretend like cover everything up, or you can say, okay, there it is. Let's take care of a good spirit, because I want to change myself, and I want to change the world. And you start working on those things, and it's work, but we do it, and we knew before we took form, we are spirit, and we came into a form, and we knew when we came that we could overcome these low vibrations and keep raising their, think about Jesus when he came. My God, their religion at the time, their idea of God, Jehovah, he hated, warred, killed, destroyed. And read the Bible stories. My God, you, you've got sex slavery. You've got killing children. you got horrible things, and they're calling that God. After Jesus came, he gave you a whole new idea. He, he didn't teach Jehovah. He taught the loving Father. He taught not an eye for an eye, uh, but to love your enemy. Not even avoid them. Love them, because when you're holding that vibration, it changes things, my friend. And Jesus made a huge change in this world and so are you you are here for a reason and my friends uh, tistra uh, is a representation it's the white horse uh, of sirius it's the christ consciousness is that pure virgin consciousness and i saw it in 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 my vision and it was lying down and it reminded me of the story that we've talked about of tistra and it was laid low for three days uh, because the people weren't doing their prayers they weren't holding what do i mean by that doing their prayers let's cover that i'm not talking begging a deity uh to come save them they weren't doing their prayers meaning holding i am love. I am peace. I am joy. I am divine health. Sickness and disease dies when it touches me. I am powerful. I am free. I am not a slave. I am a protector. And you're holding these vibrations. You are these vibrations. And my friends, we talked about this. Zarathustra had one convert, his cousin. Then they got the king and then they took over the whole world. And that's what we are going to do here at the Order of the Magi. We are bringing Asha, the all good spirit, the all good God, unconditional love, peace, joy, and kindness. And we're changing the vibration and going to the higher dimensions. But in the story of Tistra, remember he was laid low for three days because the people weren't doing their prayers. And what happened? God prayed himself. So what did God do? Did he beg himself to come intervene? No, he held the I am's for Tistra, for the people. And he said, I am protected. I am blessed. I am powerful. And my friends, Tistra rose up and the people rose up with him. And my friends, 
It's time. It's time to hold these high vibrations. But you got to do it. You got to believe you can do it. Do you know why you haven't been doing your meditations? Do you know why you haven't done, been doing your prayers? Why you don't be careful about what you watch on TV and the music you hear and the thoughts you think and the words you speak? Because you don't believe it'll make a difference. Because you've been taught answers with no understanding. It's time to have wisdom. It's the number seven. It's, it's the wisdom. Ahura Mazda. The omniscient to reach to that power uh, of omniscience, of all-knowing, of the all-good spirit, and connect with that. Try it, okay? Before you think it don't work, because I'm telling you, it does work. And many that have come before me, and many that are going to come after, says it works. And I can show you it works, because if your life is absolute hell on earth, it's because you've connected to the evil spirit with their fear, and their hate, and their propaganda, and their schooling. My friends, try it. Okay, meditate today and hold those I am's and don't let your mind wander uh, to the evil spirit. Focus it on, on Sirius, on Tistra, on the Christ mind, on Vohu Menu, on the all good spirit of Hura Mazda. And, and my friends, you connect to that and you hold that vibration. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he who holds my vibration has God life. You want God life? good life hold those vibrations no matter what's going on around you and you will change the world that is the answer it's that simple it's the seven it's serious it's a central consciousness and it's there it's in us it's around us you just have to connect you will rewire your your neural pathways you will see the world different you will change the chemicals in your body your body is spiritual your mind is spiritual everything is spirit in truth are we informed yes uh, are some people in different uh, uh, frequencies yes but all is spirit choose your spirit wisely because there's only two there's good spirit or there's evil spirit my friends a shift is taking place and, and, and it's I've told I'm losing people left and right left and right but it's okay because it's part of it. They can't come with us. And, and I know, and I wish I could have talked to this person more, but it was over text. Uh, but they're saying with my last message uh, that there's no right or wrong. They didn't like what I was saying was wrong. But I said, my friend, a lot of people are teaching right then. There's no right or wrong. But I said, you know what happens? You become a parent and someone uh, harms your child and you scream out, that is wrong. And you get angry. My friends, you get a whole new religion. Now, I understand when you get in the higher dimensions, because I've been there. We've talked about that. In the bliss level, there's no good or bad. There's no right or wrong. You're in these higher levels, but it's good. There's none of the evil going on in those high dimensions. That's why you can say, but if you are in the third dimension here, if you are on earth and someone comes uh, and drinks, uh, gets drunk, gets behind the wheel, runs over your child, ask them why are you so angry because that is wrong my friends in this dimension there is right and wrong there is good and evil in truth in the higher dimensions of course it's bliss it's it's all good but don't forget what is good okay a lot of people in the spiritual community are using this so they can keep drinking keep doing drugs keep sleeping around keep being greedy and selfish my friends it ain't gonna work then you can do what you want there's free will when you come into form isn't there but you're not gonna get into asha you're not gonna get into the higher dimensions and you can wear yoga pants and rub your little crystal and act like you're spiritual but inside you know you are a liar and if you're tired of playing games calling yourself a witch but you can't do no magic if you're ready to change the world change yourself do something work in magic and miracles be something then join us at the order of the magi with the all good spirit that is all love peace joy kindness align yourself with that and you will feel power for the first time you won't be a slave for the first time my friends it's a good life and i'm asking you share these messages I want more people to share this message. It's so important that we grow this right now. And I know which of you are, but maybe some of you, you've never commented, you never hit the like button, you never subscribed, you never shared a message. Become a part of this, my friends. How long do you have? There's no guarantee how long you're gonna be informed. You're a light worker. If you're on this channel and you've stayed this long, you know inside you're a light worker. You come from God, you're made of God, and you're here to do something. So I'm going to ask you right now, do something. Hit that share arrow and join us. And know I love you so much. 
We'll see you next time.